Welcome back, everybody, to the Marketing 100, where my good friend John Halberg over at the Salon Business and I, Kale, your Salon and Spa Business bestie, give you our top 100 marketing tips for 2024 and beyond. John, thanks so much for being here again. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Kale? I'm thriving, man. I'm thriving. I'm surviving. So, John, we we did we've done quite a few of these tips now. We've we talked about like we hosting events. We talked about automation. We've talked about email marketing. But I don't know what you're going to talk about today. So surprise me. What's our tip for the day? So the tip for the day is that don't just post to social media, but post to your website. Like when we create content in our business, you channels like TikTok or on Instagram or whatever medium that you're like putting things out on. We kind of stay on those platforms and we just like create on those platforms. The problem when we just create to those platforms is that our content can only be found on these specific platforms. So other platforms don't really like, you know, you won't find TikTok content on Instagram or you wouldn't like find TikTok or Instagram content on Google, for example. So what you want to do is that because you're anyway creating this content, don't just post it onto your Instagram, but post it also to your website. Because when you do, your website is something that is more you know, platform independent, let's say, is something that you own, is something that you control. So when you put out things on your website, those are actually things that will show up in like search engines. So for example, like whatever, if you're taking a photo of like that great balayage you did in, you know, early in that day, uh, if you just post on Instagram, it will live on Instagram, your Instagram followers might see it, but that's it. But if you like put that on your website, Maybe three months later, when someone is searching for balayage and they're based like close to your business where that, you know, because Google knows where your business is located and that image exists on your website, that will appear in like the image search result. Your website will start to show up. People will start to like find your business because they were searching for balayage and you happen to have an image of that sitting on your website. That doesn't happen with social media. So very like practical tip, don't just post to these platforms that you don't control, but also make sure like when you do, you actually like upload that photo to your website or like create a blog post or something that like lives on your website. Uh, and you know, more people will be able to find your business. The way I always think about a website is sort of like, that's where you plant your roots, right? Like no matter what you need to be able to have ownership over your business and, and your presence online. And a lot of you know, salon and spa businesses I've worked with don't even have a website, which is is crazy to think about, you know, in 2024, mm -hmm. being able to sort of cross promote content that you create is also important. Like you want to have those roots of your website, but I think it's also really important to also sort of like pollinate those other social networks with that media that you're creating and then have that also embedded on your website. If that makes sense, you know what I mean? Like if you have a YouTube video or if you have like a TikTok or you have an Instagram reel, you can, there's ways to embed that video content or the photo content on your website. And you sort of get to double dip in that way, right? You get the association with your business. You get the, the sort of search engine juice that you get out of having that website and the benefit of having it connected to those other social networks that sort of give you that social proof that we talk about sometimes of we exist. This is where our business is located. This is the kind of stuff we do. Here's our presence online. And it starts to build out that network, right? That root network starts to become much larger as you start to build out that content. Yeah, definitely. And like your website is, that's your hub, right? That's where people will go to kind of experience your brand. What is your, what, what are you about? Like, what do you offer? And you just don't want to like be relying fully on other platforms. So, you know, when you create content, make sure you put it out on, on your website as well, because that is something that you actually own and control. I think many business owners have been shocked, you know, and like, you know, investing a lot in one platform and creating content and then the algorithm is changing and it's like, it's not working anymore. And, you know, I don't, you know, my content is not being seen and, and, and so on, right? Your website is your website is something that you control and that you own. So like investing in that as a business asset for the long run is a smart call. Honestly, couldn't agree more. I think this is a great tip. I think more, uh, you know, if you don't have a website already where you're taking advantage of that real estate, it's time to do it. Um, it's cheaper than ever. And it's easier than ever. There's tons of ways that you can build a website online. Uh, we talk a lot more about that in a lot more of our videos. If you're not subscribed to the salon business, go get subscribed right now. It's that little button underneath this video. Uh, go ahead and click on that and then check out more of these tips we've got. We've got many, many more coming in our series on this Marketing 100. Thanks for tuning in. Get subscribed and we'll see you in the next one.